Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Medseed MBBS. This video lecture will help you learn the structure of neuron with five important high yield points. First we'll recall the basics about the structure of various parts of neuron and then I'll highlight the high yield points separately. So as we know a neuron has a cell body or soma with protoplasmic extensions to receive and transmit the signals or impulses. So starting with soma, soma has nucleus of neuron along with other cell organelles. Now nucleus is a oval shaped body that houses nucleolus and chromosomes for production of protein. Delivery of these proteins manufactured in soma to the axons which may be as far as a meter long is done efficiently by a system of microtubule associated microproteins. This system delivers protein packaged in vesicles to the axon and ensures the healthy functioning of neurons. So let's have a round of applause for the system. Now let us move on to a key cell organelle found in the soma of neuron, Nissel's granule. Nissel's granules are present in large number in the soma and their composition is a very important high yield point. Nissel's granules are composed largely of rough endoplasmic reticulum and free polyribosome. Next, let us talk about axon hillock, a region of cell body from where the axon originates. Now, axon hillock has two very special features. First, this region has very high amount of protein synthesis because of large number of Nissel's granules. And second, it has a special plasma membrane which has large number of voltage gated channels and thus this is the site of action potential. Next we'll learn about dendrites. So basics first, these are the post synaptic structure which are protoplasmic extensions of soma that helps in receiving the signals. Now high yield point here is a process called dendritic arborization. Arbor refers to tree. So this is a process by which a neuron is able to form new synapses with other neurons by forming new branches of dendrites. So this helps in establishing newer connections for a neuron. Moving on to our final structure of neuron, the axon. These are the protoplasmic extensions that transmit the signals. So for basics, we'll learn about four key terms related to axon. Exolemma refers to the plasma membrane of axon. Exoplasm refers to the cytoplasm of axon. Now, an axon can divide into many branches at the terminal. So, these branches, each of these branches is called a telodendron. And the end of each telodendron is called as axon terminal or synaptic button. So, exolemma refers to plasma membrane of axon, exoplasm, the cytoplasm, telodendry are the branches and axon terminal are the end. Moving on to myelination. Now myelin is a fatty substance that surrounds the nerve cell and myelination is the process of deposition of myelin around the nerve cells. To understand it better, you can think of an electric wire with insulating substance around it. However, unlike the wire, myelin does not cover the entire neuron but leaves some gaps in between which are called as nodes of Ranvier. This discontinuous structure helps in solitary conduction by which the signal are rapidly transmitted across the neuron. So myelin is formed by glial cells, by oligodendrocytes in the CNS and Schwann cells in PNS. So I hope you had a good time learning. Please give a thumbs up if you understood the topic well and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and take care.